Good afternoon everyone. My name is Riti Kara and my topic is UNO. UNO stands for United Nations Organization. It is the second biggest multi-purpose international organization. The first one is Nation of Leagues, sorry, League of Nations. It was formed on 24th of October 1945. That is the reason every year 24 October is celebrated as UNO. UNO Day, that is United Nations Day. During the World War II, prior to it, the Allied powers, they thought of that why not we can have a global organization that can solve the problem all on the same platform regarding the international issues. That is the reason. During the 1945, the, charter, the Atlantic Charter was signed between Prime Minister of UK and President of US, Franklin D. Roosevelt, and they signed the Atlantic Charter. And what is the function basically the UNO headquarters is in headquarters. UNO headquarters is in New York and its regional offices are in Geneva and even in Nairobi and Vienna. Basically it has six official languages, French, Spanish, English, Arabic, Chinese and even it has six main principal bodies like UN uh, General Assembly, Trusteeship, Economic and Corporation and even the uh, Security Council and many more. The main functions that the basically UN deals with all the issues regarding health, poverty and even AIDS and many more. But today the scenario has changed a little bit because you know very well that during how the Taliban took over Afghanistan and even during the pandemic, especially during Corona, the credibility of the UN has been questioned. The main reason is that most of the leading nations they want to showcase their own power, they want to present themselves the most powerful nation in the world and that is the reason they are not able to cooperate together to find a simple solution to the leading problems. Find the uh, to the leading problems. And not only this, but the thing is that I want to say that now it's the time for the nations to keep their arguments aside, to keep their problem aside, to take a single step in order to solve the international issues and also they are important to have the common exercises to, pay, um, to have the common exercises to build more and more implement or to build more and more executions in the international issues.